In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make passive income using AI art. And this method is super easy to do. It takes only a few steps, but still has so much potential, so much demand right now due to the diversity of stuff that we can create. So you can create digital patterns using simple prompts that I'll be showing later on. You can also generate coloring pages, wall art. The process that I'll be going through in this video is starting at Etsy to find a high demand, low competition listings. And then we're going to go to Midjourney to generate our products. And I will show you how to set up a server, create an account, and so forth. And finally, I will give you some tips and tricks to get more sales. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be showing you two different examples of listings and products that we can target, starting with digital patterns or patterns SFG. And in here, you can see we're looking for best sellers. So we don't want to pick ones that are ads by Etsy seller because those are not organically ranked this highly. So on here, you see uh, this one is best seller. Uh, this one is best seller as well. So as well, they all look similar. So if we click on one of those, you see there are geometric patterns. Maybe there is an opportunity for us. So on here, I'm going to search for that keyword again and see that there is say SFG. Yeah, so very competitive keyword. You see here there is 28,000 results, which is uh, too competitive. So we're going to go back to our religion, original listing and go look for other uh, bestseller listings. So on here, you see there is floral, seamless, pattern sfg this one might potentially be a good keyword so on here you see there is uh 3000 listings which is so much better so anything less than 5000 i'll say is good so on here you see there this listing and different variations are all doing very well they all best sellers so we're going to be targeting this listing so this image and it's a single image and what do we do when we find a good listing is take a screenshot so we're going to take a screenshot and save it somewhere so before we go out and create our images let's first set up our mid journey account actually the free version of mid journey which allowed you for 40 free images is currently on pause since uh, the beginning of april due to the high demand it might be on pause for another month or so so if you want to try this hustle i will say go for the paid version or you can use other free alternatives like dali e which is made by the same company that made chat lexica which another completely free option stary ai and yeah many more i will leave all of those down in the description but I will be focusing more on mid journey since I think it's the highest in quality and the easiest one to use if you don't have that much experience in the AI art space. So on mid journey homepage, you want to go to sign in and then authorize, which you essentially going to authorize them to access your Discord account. So if you're not already signed in, you have to sign in a step and then you will be prompted with three different uh, plans on three different price points. I highly recommend that you stick with the basic plan if you haven't made it your sale. Basic plan, you can can create 200 plus images plenty enough to start to get started with and make sure you know which side you're on either yearly billing or monthly billing so i would say you should start with the lowest plan for now on here you're going to fill out your estimation and that is it uh, it's pretty straightforward on this page you can see how much you used from the resources given you can also cancel your subscription if you want or manage on here which is essentially going to to use the resources and not bill you by the end of the month so the next step is creating our own server is go to discord either the application version or the desktop version you get to look for the plus sign on the left side and then you're going to choose create my own choose for being my friends and name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter uh, and you're going to click create and you're going to go back and look for the bot that sends you the message the confirmation message so on here you're going to say add to server and you're going to add the bot to the server we just created so now to creating the product and how you can do that is one of two ways one using an existing image or two via inputting direct prompt so let's say you want to use an existing image how you can do that is by screenshotting the listing that you have selected and then you're going to go back to your server and create a new channel called upload on there you're going to upload your image then you're going to copy your image and go back to your general channel where you're going to generate the image so you're going to input the image that you uploaded and then you're going to describe that image to the best of your ability because you're going to see here when i don't input the right description you will generate an image that is very similar to the input image but not exactly in the ways that you want to so for this example a lot of beautiful patterns came out of this and actually we can make listings out of this but if i want to have a very similar image to the original one i'm gonna specify the features that i want to see more of so in the second try, I said an outline of an image. 
So let's say you're looking to create coloring pages, which is a niche that I'm very much excited about. And I have seen other successful stars use AI to make money from that is not very much talked about on YouTube. So let's say you want to look for coloring pages and we're looking for listings that are again bestsellers but are not ads and let's say we find this unicorn listing which is a great keyword on there if we look up that keyword you're gonna find that there's not that many competition for this keyword so we can copy that and go to midjourney to generate images for us you can just simply input that image as you can see midjourney generated four variations for us but two of the four are colored so what we're going to do is pick the ones that are not colored and then ask Midjourney to generate different variations of that image. You can also add more keywords to Midjourney and be more specific about the type of image that you want to generate. So in this example, I said to add more butterflies, rainbows, nature, and you see generated four different variations as well. You can go more and just say uh, you want to add more Disney cartoon-ish effect or let's say you want to add more wings and you can use all of this package all of these images and add them to your listing and I actually found a store that has successfully been doing this very recently but if you see this listing they have been selling especially dragons and baby dragons images and it's been working out very well for them and they've been getting a lot of sales probably anywhere from 100 or so per listing and this is going to last forever you only need to generate it once and Etsy going to handle all the advertising advertisement, promotion, and so forth. So you just need to make it once and that's it. And it's going to last for you for years because people are always looking for this type of product. They're always looking for coloring pages. It never dies out. But the difference is that the earlier you get into this, the higher you will rank on the search result. So you're going to be establishing an authority for that keyword. So this type of strategy is the earlier, the better that you get started in. And the longer that you are in the game, the more beneficial you get is for you. So I highly recommend it. So some of the tips that I want to give about Etsy listings is one, you want to look at giving discounts every now and then. So if you see this listing, they are having a 40% discount, but this is not actually real. It's actually been for all the time. And what they do is every now and then they will up the price by double the actual price and then discount it 40 by 50 or 40%. And what this do is whenever there is a discount, buyers who have this product in their cart get notified of the discount and more likely than not, they convert into an actual buyer. So this is a great way to get your get people's attention for completely free and uh, it's a trick that i highly recommend to do every now and then another thing is about the description to optimize your listing what you can do is copy good listings that are similar in your niche that are doing well and then ask ChatGPT to fill it up with more keywords so in this case this is about dragons and let's say i want to do a listing about baby dragon you can copy that listing just the description and then go to ChatGPT. so on here you can see i said reword and add more dragon keywords to this which is the description we copied and in here it's going to reword it and add more keywords so this way is a safe way to copy your competitors but also add some keywords to your listing and if you have a set of keywords that you want to add to your listing you can ask ChatGPT to specifically add it to this description so in my case let me stop this let's say i want to include red dragon baby dragon so on here i said reword and add the following keywords to this list and this is a great way to make it sound natural while still adding the keywords that we need so this is one way to do it so yeah keep in mind those two tips when you make a description use ChatGPT and make discounts every now and then to gain the attention of your buyers or people that are interested in your product and yeah that is all subscribe to see more videos like this i'll probably make more and find more interesting products that we can target and yeah i will keep you guys updated thank you for watching and take care